Here are four predictions for the real estate market in the United States in 2021. These are from CoreLogic's chief economist. What is CoreLogic and why are his predictions important? Hi, I'm Mike Zahn with the Right Move team at AZ & Associates. I've been selling real estate here in North Phoenix and really valley-wide for more than 15 years. I live, eat, and breathe real estate. And I trust CoreLogic because they're a leading provider to the government for business analytics and financial and property data. So in my opinion, their predictions hold their weight in gold because, well, they're based on data and facts. Prediction number one, we will continue to have low interest rates throughout the year. They're at a record low right now, and they believe the Federal Reserve will continue to promote these low interest rates throughout the year. Right now, 30-year fixed rate mortgages are averaging about 2.7% nationwide, which is a record low. Their forecast on average for, is for interest rates for the year to average 2.9%. This will be the first year ever that 30-year mortgage rates have averaged under 3%. They also predict these low interest rates will go into 2022. The second real estate market prediction in the United States in 2021 is that there will be more first-time home buyers entering the market. Remember, CoreLogic bases their prediction on public data and facts, and being in the industry for over 15 years, I heavily rely on their data. They believe the low interest rates will continue to entice buyers to want to enter the market. It's an easier transition to enter the housing market because, well, the interest rate is much lower today than they were about a year ago, about 1% lower, and that lowers a buyer's monthly payment significantly. So much so that oftentimes mortgages are lower than what a monthly payment for rent would be. And remember, they also have the benefit of writing off some of the mortgage interest. So buyers will have more monthly cash flow because mortgage rates are so low and because of the interest write-off. The flip side of that is that buyers will have to come up with more money when they purchase a home because they're also going to need that money for down payment, closing costs, monthly reserve, and that will cause a bit of strain on the budget. But once they get in the home, it's going to be great. But initially getting into it may be a bit of more of a financial challenge. So I hope this was helpful. If you want to know the next two predictions for the real estate market, check out my YouTube channel, Metro Phoenix Lifestyle, for all four real estate predictions in 2021. Reach out to us at any time for anything we you need, because we're always here to help. And in the meantime, we'll keep doing what we always do. We find people we like, the homes they love. See you in my next video.